right now the Raiders control. Jeff Day with it in the corner, trying to come up with it. In behind the net, we've got uh, Kringoli's line out there against the Day line. Puck kept in by DeRosie at the point. To Ward, back to DeRosie. He pinches in to keep it in. Goes to Day in front. His shot. Score! Well, that didn't take very long. Messina jumps out on top on a score of one to nothing at the 25 second mark of the first period. Beautiful goal in the sense that uh, Jeff Warden, he uh, picked the puck up to the left of uh, Healy and uh, no one uh, challenged him. There was a Raider uh, defenseman, I think it was uh, uh, Day possibly in front occupying the defenseman and Ward, uh, correction, Jeff Day just walked right in. Joe Ward was parked in front, number eight. Jeff Day walked right in, looked, found the uh, stick side and a wrist shot, put the Raiders up one nothing. only 25 seconds gone. Here comes Messina again into the zone. Collins after it for the Irish. Doesn't get it out of the zone. O'Shea keeps it in. He gets tied up along the board, skates out of the fray. He feeds it to Justin Walsh by the defense, but he had the puck poke checked away. Comes out to center ice. Mike Cameron with it. He'll drop it over on the other side for Gerard. And he just flips it ahead. It's deflected by O'Shea into the zone. Back after it there is Corcoran. Very, very good defenseman for this Irish team. He's also the captain of the team. Puck deep in the Messina zone now. And icing will be the call as it was fed all the way from the little Irish blue line. 13.59 remaining in the first period. Just underway here in the championship game. And on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, it's 1-0 Messina already, and the uh, Raiders off to a fast start here. His third goal of the year, Jeff Day centering that first unit at the 25-second mark. Charlie Durant picking up the assist. Nice shot, uh, wrist shot from about, uh, uh, I'd say, 15 feet out. Uh, beat the goaltender to the stick side. Off the faceoff. The puck trickles all the way down the ice. And icing again will be the call on uh, the little Irish. Uh, we've got Clint Kerwin up playing the wing on this Nick Cormanius line. Andy St. Thomas the other wing. So they're going to move Kerwin up on the wing. And uh, talked about a play that Clint had last night that you kind of enjoyed uh, when he had the puck behind the net down at this end here. And, really uh, smart play. Uh, I'd like to uh, play that one back. It was really cute. Uh, and uh, heads up play. Uh, we'll talk about it later when we get a break. Face off left side in the zone. It comes to Barkley. His shot deflects in front. And the goaltender jumped on it, lost it, and pokes free in the corner. St. Thomas after it there. He's taken into the boards by Corcoran. Puck squirts free, picked up by Cormanius. Nick with a puck now, Dipsy Doodles. Goes back behind the St. Thomas to Cormanius along the boards. Squirts away from him, and it's dumped down the ice. I do believe we're going to have another icing call. Nope, they wave that one off. And uh, the goaltender plays it around the boards. That's uh, Nat Smythe. Puck in the corner. Raiders try to move it through, but it's poked away. In behind the net, Cormanius throws a check, but the Irish control the puck side of the net. Here's a sharp angle shot, and that goes high and wide. Pinching in is Mike Collins, flips it in behind the net, picked up there by Nightingale. Goes to Barkley. Barkley rounds the boards for St. Thomas. Messina starts it out. Headman pass right on the stick of Kerwin. He's going to dump as Messina wants a line change. And coming out will be, well, let's see who we've got coming out there. It's going to be Timmy O'Shea double shifting with uh, Anthony Diagostino and Jeff Slack. So this is Messina's fourth line. Messina down one forward here. Uh, actually more than one, but one in numbers here this evening. Puck dump back in the Messina zone. Charlie Duran after it. Skates to the right side and starts it out. Goes by one. Backhand pass. Comes to Slack to O'Shea, and he dumps it in the zone. In behind the net. Goaltender Healy flips it along the boards to his defense. DeRosie pinches in. Can't keep it in the zone. Trickles out to center ice. Here's Jeff Slack with it. Has it knocked away. Kringoli to Doherty, but we have an offsides called. And the faceoff will move outside the Messina zone. Oh, and Doherty, even though the play was offside with his head down, never noticed on his right side, Jason Gar Garnett all alone over there. He had a head down, and uh, Doherty all was going to was offside, but he was going to shoot anyway. But he had a teammate wide open. You got to look up and uh, know where your uh, wings are. Woo! Back with the day line for Messina. Off the draw. Puck comes to Cameron. He circles back in his own end, dumps it in behind the net. Gerard there. He gets tied up. The puck comes to Day. Trying to flip it around the boards. It comes to Gerard again. He'll backhand it. Trying to move it ahead for Joey Ward. And Ward doesn't get it out of the zone. Puck bounces free. Doherty looking to center. Garnett trying to come up with it. Bounces high in the air. And Day poke checks it out the neutral ice. And here comes Messina three on one. Ward with it. Takes it across. He's got Day with him. Flips on the other side. 
and he couldn't quite get it on the stick, and the puck goes in behind the net. And a good opportunity there for Messina goes for not as Mankies couldn't quite handle it. Puck comes back to the Messina blue line. Cameron ahead to Ward again. He just flips it in the zone on the backhand. Dake trying to come up with it. McMahon is there, though, on defense for the Irish to flip it in behind. Mankies, Mankies to Ward, behind the net. Ward gets taken out of the play by Corcoran, and the puck ripped around the boards, and it goes all the way down the ice. And uh, apparently Cameron touched it, so they're going to wave the icing off. Raiders lead it 1-0 early in the first period. Puck in the Messina zone. Matt Gerard with it. Flips it along the boards for Ward. He just slides it out the center ice. Here comes Jeff Day. Day across the blue line with Mankies. Day has it poked away but keeps it in. Flips it in the corner for Mankies. He just lets it go by in behind the Irish net as the Raiders make a line change. Puck around the boards. Barkley trying to pinch in. Now Justin Walsh digging for it. Back to Barkley. His shot. Oh, just wide. Goaltender reacted a little late on that. And uh, the Irish are going to move it out to the Messina line. Here's an opportunity for Hackett. Hackett and Barkley go together, but again, offsides are called. Somebody got a stick on it just as it was crossing the uh, blue line, and that caused the offsides. You mentioned the goaltender a little slow reacting. Chuck Healy, the uh, number two goaltender, I think number one in the rotation is, uh, is Rick uh, Maggi, but he uh, played last night. Uh, Healy, a big guy, but he doesn't seem to be quick on his feet. When he goes down, he's a little slow getting up. Number that Jerry's going to be calling a lot, uh, number 22, Sean Corcoran, and he's, uh, he's going <laughs> to see a lot of ice time, and he just had a beautiful play back behind Behind yep. the net, took the man, you know, that's what you want to do. Good job by 22. Definitely an outstanding defenseman. Okay, off the faceoff, puck back inside, little Irish zone. Walsh races for it, winds and fanned. And he got tied up. Barkley trying to keep it in. Apparently he did, as right on the line. Puck comes to O'Shea in the corner, right side. Oh, centering pass in the slot, but it doesn't get there. Here's Barkley. Fakes the shot, goes to Walsh in the corner to Meacham. Meacham behind the net has it poke checked away by Corcoran, and Sean Corcoran starts out. Corcoran, he can rush the puck. Here he comes. Here comes Corcoran, goes by Barkley, comes in front, shot, score! Sean Corcoran, end to end uh, rush to tie things up at a goal apiece. That's number 22. We just got uh, done talking about him. He's, uh, he's a real classy hockey player, and he'll probably see. Uh, Ice time about 85% of the time out there. They've only got four uh, defensemen listed on the roster here tonight. And uh, he's a sweetheart, a captain. Picked the puck up in his own end. Uh, solo end-to-end -end went down that left side. His off wing went around the Raider defenseman. And he's coming down the wrong left wing. So he's a right-handed shot. Cut in on the forehand. And he put it, looked like, right between the legs of uh, Nats Mike. So Sean Corcoran does a great job and a great goal. And here comes Nick Cormanius from Messina. Cormanius from the blue line. The shot, the save. Rebound cleared in the corner. Cormanius digging in. Centers it right on and the save is made. And Aquinas clears it down the ice into the Messina zone. Charlie Durant picking up the loose puck there. Here's Durant in behind his own net. We're tied at one here in the first period. Raiders move it ahead. Here comes Cormanius taken out of the play. St. Thomas follows. Cormanius digging for it right at the blue line. They still go after it, and finally the whistle blows as the puck is tied up, and we'll have a face-off. Did they make, I didn't pick up the assist. Was there an assist on that to Jerry? Was unassisted? I think it yeah, was unassisted. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. yeah, he picked it up. It was uh, solo. I thought maybe it might have been tipped by someone, but uh, no. What's unassisted that? They goal? gave it to the wrong person? No, it, it was Corcoran. No yeah. question about it. Off oh, the okay. face-off. So they gave an assist to Rich? Okay. So it'll be Corcoran from Rich. And here comes Messina's Cormania shot. Ooh, just missed by an inch. Back to the blue line. DeRozzi trying to keep it in. Did he? No, he didn't. Puck out to center ice. Here's Cormania, and he was still in the zone when he touched it. And offsides will be called, and he heads to the bench. So we've got 9-18 left in the first period on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Raiders and the Little Irish are tied at one. A tying goal, the 446 mark, and that's a big one because the last thing you want to do is come into a tournament when you're the underdog, get scored on the first 25 seconds. But uh, the little Irish tied up, Sean Corcoran from number, with number 17, Mike Rich picking up the assist. Off the faceoff, Messina dumping it. That's an icing call as Cameron dumped it from uh, his half of uh, neutral ice, and down the ice it'll come. And the irony about that assist, Mike Rich, I was going to comment, just prior to that goal, had a chance, the Raiders putting pressure on it, a chance to clear the zone, and he, instead of controlling the puck and, and taking his time dumping out, he made a leak, weak little backhanded uh, clearing attempt that was stopped by the Raider defenseman, who kept it in, took the shot, and then uh, Sean uh, uh, Corcoran made the rush. 
Here's Cameron off the faceoff in the Messina zone. Jeff Slack with it, trying to bang it ahead and out to center ice and down the ice. And that's going to go right on, so no icing. And the goaltender Healy kind of fumbled with it a little bit, but holds on. Puck around the boards. Doherty for the Irish just moves it out to center ice. Here comes Kringoli. Cameron ties him up, following his Doherty. Winds up his shot, hit the side of the net. Doherty again in the corner, flips it behind the net. Little Irish trying to get something going. It's going to come to O'Shea, though. He rips it around the boards. Collins looks to stop it. He doesn't. It's poke checked by him. And the puck, Jeff Slack, got tripped up right in front of Foster. I can't believe he didn't call that. And here comes Timmy O'Shea. Takes it across the blue line. Does a dipsy doodle move and gets tripped up. And the puck bounces in front, and it's dumped down the ice by the Little Irish. And that's got to be an icing call right there. And the faceoff will move back in Little Irish territory. Mr. Healy has uh, certainly not uh, displayed a lot of ability to handle that puck here in the early moments. Uh, you mentioned that long shot just prior to that. He came out, he had his body turned, put the goal stick down, didn't put the body behind it. If that thing hits something on the ice, uh, whatever, a little debris, hops over that goal stick, that's a 190-foot goal. You know, you got to put the body behind it. He had trouble making that clearing pass just then. Jeff Day out there to take the face off against Hackett. Off the draw. Puck to the blue line. Here's Nightingale's shot. It's blocked. Bounces inside of the zone and in behind the net. Ooh, hard check thrown there. And the puck's still underneath. That was Mankies who was a recipient. Oh, now another check thrown there by the Raiders. A hard one thrown by Joe Ward. Puck squirts free. Day tries to keep it in. He does for a minute, but now finally it's taken out of the zone by Jason Weston, and he's going to dump it from the red line in the Messina territory. Barkley in after it. He gets tied up. Nightingale comes over to help out. Barkley skates away with it. Goes to the 45, doesn't clear the zone. Kept in at the point by McMahon in the corner again. Raiders look to clear, and they do this time. The puck trickles back into the zone all the way down the ice, and that'll be icing against Messina. A lot of icings in this game. Uh, there is at least a half a dozen, and we've only played or halfway through. 7.32 left in the first period of this championship game with a 1-1 score. Uh, Raiders getting on the board early. Jeff Day at the 25-second mark, and uh, Little Irish tying it up at 4.46 with Sean Corcoran. That uh, Little Irish and Sean Corcoran, that goes together. Doesn't it, though? Off the faceoff, Maloney takes the draw, comes to Durant, rips it around the boards, kept in at the point by Sean Corcoran. We're going to say his name a lot, as you mentioned. Around the boards. Now it's Justin Walsh dropping it back for Durant. Durant trying to go on the wing, and it's still out by the blue line. Irish putting a little pressure on. Now Messina just moves it across the blue line and out to center ice. Maloney trying to flip it free. Walsh can't come up with it. Corcoran doesn't cross the blue line. Here comes O'Shea. Timmy O'Shea trying to get by the check. He gets knocked down but stays with it somehow. Finally, it's poke checked away, but O'Shea is there to pick it up again. Flips it. Meacham, his shot goes into the corner. After it, O'Shea centering pass. Walsh, he couldn't get a stick on it. Meacham right across the goal mouth. Oh, boy, good opportunity for Messina. And they try to clear, but still, Meacham, did he keep it in? No, he didn't. A delay offsides on Messina, but they get out of the zone. And it's Sean Corcoran with a puck for the Irish. Ahead to Rich. Rich dumps it off the boards, picked up by DeRosie, right back in the zone. Messina making a line change. Puck around the boards it comes, and poke check. DeRosie, did he keep it in? He did. Again, the little Irish try to clear. It's McMahon out the center ice. We have a whistle, and we're going to have our first penalty of the game. No, I think it was no? a hit with oh, high stick. controlling with a high stick, yeah. okay. The uh, Raiders, uh, Justin Walsh, parked in front, thought he was mugged, uh, and uh, rightly so. <laughs> Sean Corcoran doing an outstanding job. That puck comes through the crease. He doesn't try to play goaltender. His job is to move the guy that's with the opposite, different colored shirt in front, and he does a good job. But he uh, did a little extracurricular on, uh, on Justin at that. Charlie Durant with it, flipping it ahead for St. Thomas. Doesn't clear his own. Now he, no, he still doesn't. Doherty shot right on, and the save is made. And Nat Smythe decides to dump on it. And he does and holds on for the faceoff. And that shot is tougher than it looked. Uh, the uh, little Irish defenseman just flipped it in. And it was one of those bouncers, hop, skip, and jump. And you don't know where it's going to go. And uh, uh, Nate had to give up a rebound. So he pounced on it to make sure get everything uh, set up straight. And the faceoff to the right of uh, Nate Smythe. Kringoli against Cormanius. Off the faceoff, Raiders control. Here comes DeRosey. Leading the attack, drops it to St. Thomas. He flips it off the glass into the zone. Around the boards, Corcoran with it. 
Kerwin tries to take him into the boards. The puck squirts free to the blue line. And Cormanius is there, winds the shot, he fired it wide. Puck whistles all the way back to the red line, picked up by DeRosie. DeRosie from Messina trying to bounce it ahead, knocked away from him. And DeRosie still digging with it. Finally, it's dumped by him into the Messina zone, and Durant is there in the corner right side of Smythe. Here's Charlie. Charlie just flips it ahead for Cormanius. Nick to St. Thomas, he dumps to the open wing. It looks like Messina's in the middle of a line change here. Yes, indeed, they are. Cormanius wants to stay out there. <laughs> Here comes Hackett, overskates the puck, Messina back the other way, Diagostino gets by a check, the puck poked away, right to Cameron. Cameron from Messina at his own blue line, ahead to Diagostino, he gets tied up along the boards, the puck squirts free in the zone. Dumped back out again, Diagostino flips it back in again, back out again, intercepted right there and dumped right back in the zone by Jeff Slack. Puck comes to Corcoran behind his own net. Sean Corcoran, he's going to rifle it down the ice. And uh, Smythe has to make the save on that play. That's a long shot, but uh, a good play. Puck back out to center ice. Corcoran again has it stolen by O'Shea. Two on one with Slack. Flips to Slack, and he didn't quite have enough mustard as the play was brought, blocked and back the other way. Come the Irish, and the shot, a high shot, save made. Rebound picked up by Gerard. Gerard flips it along the boards for Diagostino. Trying to clear the zone, has it knocked away. And the puck squirts free to Cameron. Here's Cameron with it. Does a dipsy doodle move, goes ahead to Diagostino. He just deflects it, and Corcoran picks it up at his own blue line. Ahead it goes to Hack, and he dumps in the Messina zone. Four and a half left in the first period. Tie hockey game on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. Here comes Timmy O'Shea. Circles in his own end, goes to Gerard. Gerard looks up ice, flips it to Diagostino. Anthony picks up the puck and starts it out. His pass intercepted by Collins. He gets it back again. Mike Rich trying to take it away. Flips to the Messina line. It just trickles in the zone. Gerard is there. Bounce pass. Comes to the Irish zone. People are changing. The puck comes to Rich a little bit too far. Into the Messina zone. It's Mike Cameron for the Raiders. Cameron over to Barkley. Barkley trying to spin it around. Flips it ahead for Mankies. Mankies drops it back to Jeff Day. Day rips it around the boards for Joe Ward. Ward in behind. Cameron has to come back up with it. Rich trying to tie him up. Now Maloney digging for it. And Cameron skates out of the fray with a puck. Here's Michael Cameron. Head man pass to Mankies across the blue line. Trying to flip it today. It's knocked away. Barkley. Barkley flips it right back in the zone. In behind is Collins. He bangs it around the boards. Trickles out to neutral ice. Nightingale. He flips it right back in the zone again. Ryan McMahon for the Irish. Moves it ahead to neutral ice. Barkley dumps it right back in. Kind of playing between the blue lines right now, David. Definitely. And the puck around the boards. Kept in at the point by Nightingale. His pass knocked down. He keeps it in again. Flips it into the circle, but it's knocked away. And it's Ryan McMahon out to neutral ice. Joe Day, or Jeff Day, rather, is there to pick it up. Drops it to Nightingale. Back to Day. It's intercepted, but it's going to be Justin Walsh coming up with it. Flips it off Collins' stick deep in Aquinas territory. We're going to line change here. Here's Meacham's line coming out from Messina. Here comes Doherty into the Messina zone. His shot is blocked by DeRosi. DeRosi trying to move it ahead. Timmy O'Shea. Here comes O'Shea busting in the zone. Drop pass. DeRosi back to O'Shea. O'Shea shot hit the goal post. The goalie is back in the net trying to get up. The puck in behind. Here's a sharp angle banger around the net and it trickles out to center ice. And right back is Charlie Durant from Messina. Picks up a four checker, circles back in his own zone. And he's going to rip it around the boards for DeRosie. DeRosie in behind his net to Durant. He'll go around for O'Shea. Timmy gets tied up and skates away. Here's O'Shea with it. Long headman pass to Walsh for Meacham. Meach takes it across. Here he tries to slide it through and it had a poke checked away. And the puck dumped to the Messina line. Still a 1-1 tie here. A lot of sustained action, but not too many chances. Now here comes Justin Walsh. He's got an opportunity right side, trying to cross it across the goal mouth. It's blocked. He gets it back again behind the net. And finally, it's dumped out to center ice by the Irish. And it trickles all the way back in the Messina zone. And back thereafter is Charlie Durant. Durant in behind his own net. Looks up ice for Meacham. Meacham looks ahead for Walsh. It gets by him to the Aquinas line. They flip it ahead to Hackett. Hackett at his own blue line, loses it. Here's a chance for Cormanius. He just flips it in the corner, in behind the net. St. Thomas trying to come up with it. Corcoran's there to flip it back to Hackett. Hackett trying to slide it through to Corcoran. 
Ackett gets it back again. In the corner, around the boards. Gerard stops it. He winds his shot. to flex right on. Save made. Puck comes back to the blue line, out to center ice. Ferrari just dumps it to the Messina line. Down to a minute to play in the period. Here comes Cormanius, head of steam, plus right down the middle as it poke checked away. Puck goes into the boards, and it's picked up there. Here's an opportunity in front for Messina. They diggle, dig, try to get it through, and a couple of good opportunities. Clint Kerwin had a chance to shoot past it, and uh, ends up the goalie makes the save. Oh, Clint Kerwin on a rebound, had with uh, Healy down on his backside. Uh, had three quarters of the net to shovel it in, and he just couldn't quite get the handle on it. Bounced a little bit, and by the by the time he did get it off, uh, Healy was able to recover. But a glorious opportunity by Clint Kerwood on a rebound. Nick Carmanius will take the face off against Maloney inside Little Irish territory. They drop the puck. Carmanius wins it. Cameron trying to get the shot off. It's blocked, and the Irish just move it into the Messina zone. Matt Gerard back for it for Messina. Gerard rips it around the boards. Raiders start to move it ahead. Carmanius gets tripped up, gets right back up again, but the puck knocked away. Gerard in the corner goes after it. Puck squirts free. Gerard throw. Now he's going to pick up a penalty. Irish have the puck, but Messina touches it. And Gerard lost his stick. And he went to check the uh, Irish player, that was Rossi, and the penalty was called for interference. Well, you know, sometimes I, I, I just was thinking, I looked over at the score sheet, I was, what refreshing, how refreshing it is not to have a penalty. We'd gone through the whole first period, we've got 19 seconds left, not having a penalty, where we had uh, 1,000 in that third period last night. And as soon as I thought that, looked over at the sheet, bingo. The Raiders pick up a penalty. Matt Gerard with 19 seconds. And it's going to be a, a roughing call. Yep. I guess he uh, was a little bit too uh, too hard with the check. Too hard. A little extracurricular activity when he had him down there. It gave him a little extra shot behind the head. But uh, this uh, gives the uh, little Irish uh, a breather because uh, the Raiders were starting to pick up the pace and and uh, Aquinas had trouble getting clearing the zone. They only were getting it out. We're dumping it out. Off the faceoff. Irish control. It's Corcoran. Trying to slide it through. It's intercepted, dumped down the ice by Justin Walsh. Walsh and O'Shea. About 10 seconds left in the period. A 1-1 tie hockey game here in the championship game of the Messina Invitational. Here's a shot from center ice, and it's going to go wide as the buzzer sounds. And so we go to the locker room. Both teams scoring a goal in this first period. We're tied at one. And just flipping it into the corner. Uh, Walsh after it, and he just flips it ahead. McMahon tries to chase it down. Goaltender's going to play it ahead instead to Gurnett. Here's Gurnett with it to an open wing. And Corcoran just flips it in the zone, following up on the play. Here's Charlie Durant with it in the corner. Throws a check. O'Shea trying to come up with it. Comes to Doherty, taken away by DeRosie. DeRosie and Doherty jam for it. The puck squirts free. And we're going to have another penalty on Messina. And DeRosie uh, is going to be called for tripping. So Messina will be down two men. And Doherty tripped over his stick, but that's a tripping. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he lifted it a little he bit. He lifted just a little bit. I think he lifted it. Uh, you're very generous when you say Doherty tripped over the stick. I think Eric helped it a little bit, but uh, that's Billy Foster looked at it that way. And the Raiders are going to be down two men for at least 36 seconds. He upended uh, number 19, Mike Doherty. So again, the Raiders down two men. They had that happen a couple of times last night. O'Shea wins the draw, takes it behind the net, dipsy doodles with it by one. By two, now he looks to waste some time tied up. Finally, it squirts free. O'Shea steals it. Here's O'Shea ahead to Walsh, but it's a little bit too far, and McMahon picks it up there in behind his own net, or Dudley, rather. Excuse me. Dudley trying to move it ahead to Corcoran. Here's a guy you got to watch out for, Corcoran. He flips it ahead on the wing. Puck comes to the Messina line. It's dumped right in. Knocked down in front by Durant, and down the ice it goes. And the Raiders will get a man back here in three seconds. So doing a good, good job killing penalties. And cardinal sin by the little Irish. you got a two-man advantage. You never want to dump that puck in. Control the puck. Take your time. Gain the zone. Okay, the puck along the boards. Into the Messina zone. they got two-on-one Corcoran shot. He fired it wide, and it goes all the way around the boards and back into the little Irish zone. After it there is Ryan McMahon in his own end. 30 seconds approximately left in the uh, second Messina penalty now. Here comes McMahon with it. Poke checked away from him by Meacham. Tell you what, Meacham's a big kid. He's got a long reach. Very long. And he proved that last night. It was a beautiful goal, that deflection. 
offside, or I should say icing the call as Little Irish dumped it from the wrong side of the red line. And we're down to 19 seconds or 18 seconds. I think, left in the second penalty. Yeah, and they had, uh, they gained the zone with a two-man advantage and, and just uh, lost control of the puck for no reason. The Raiders took it away and dumped it out, and then uh, the second time down, they just dumped the puck in. So not a good uh, two-man advantage power play for the Little Irish. Pretty good penalty killing by Timmy O'Shea. He uh, oh. wasted a lot of time. Here's and Cormanius Justin and Justin Walsh. Cormanius in the corner now, looking to waste some more time, and he just kind of ties it up. They do blow the whistle, and we'll have a face-off. 11 seconds left in the man advantage, 13.06 in the second period. On the A1 TV and appliance scoreboard, it's 1-1. Raiders have scored three shorthanded goals this year in this early uh, going, and all by the same youngster, number 24, Nick Kermanius. No substitute for speed. Boy, and he's got a lot of that. Plus, he's got a heck of a quick release. Off the faceoff, Rossi with it for the Irish, trying to go by a check, but he's taken out of the play by Gerard. Dumped right back in the Messina zone. No, it didn't quite get in there. Now it's in the zone. Gerard picks it up for the Raiders. Looks up ice, ahead to Meacham, off a stick. Meacham for Cormanius, a little bit too far, but Nick's going to go after it in the corner. Cormanius gets tied up, goes to Day, back to Cormanius. Trying to go back today, but the goaltender is going to dive out on top of it and hold on for the faceoff with 12.29 left in the second period. 1-1 one, one tie hockey game here in the second. And we talked about number 24, Nick Kermanius, presence of mind. He Somehow he lost his glove, and in fact it ended up in the twine behind uh, Healy. He played probably 30 seconds out there with one glove. He wasn't going to uh, let that bother him. He stayed right in the, his club was down a man, and uh, having only one glove wasn't going to keep him from doing his job. Aquinas picked up a penalty on the play. Collins hooking the call. I didn't see that one. I didn't either. I was concentrating on Cormanius with the one glove. That happened behind the play, I guess. And uh, so Messina goes on a power play. Off the faceoff. Justin Walsh gets a stick on it, but it's knocked away. Comes back to the blue line. Kept in by Cameron. Good play, but he can't keep it in all the way. It comes back out to neutralize. Gerard throws a check, and the puck dumped right back in the zone. Comes to the side of the net. The goaltender sticks it all the way to the Messina bench. Charlie Durant coming on the ice, and he dumps it right back in the zone. Goaltender Healy stops it behind the net. Leaves it for his defenseman. Puck around the boards. Justin Walsh lost his stick, and he has to come back up with it. And Corcoran's got it. Corcoran has it knocked away. Backhander. Shot. Score! Meacham took it off. Well, actually what happened was... Uh, Corcoran tried to come around Meacham, and he lost the puck to Meacham, and Meacham just stepped in front and backhanded by Healy, who had no idea what was going on. The Raiders score a power play goal to go ahead 2-1. to one. He, uh, Corcoran wanted to run the puck on the dasher. He was to the right, uh, behind his own net, and uh, he was going left to right, wanted to run the dasher up in the left wing, and he fired it, and it hit Eric Meacham, who trapped it, and then Meacham just picked it up and stepped right out and put it on the short side. Healy didn't even know. Healy thought the puck was going to be out of the zone. And that is a power play unassisted goal for Meacham. And what were there? The puck goes in on Healy, he covers it up. So we're going to have to pick another power aid, power play winner when we have a break here. And I think we have a break right now. We're going to pick a winner here. So we'll let Megan. Megan McLennan will pick the winner. <laughs> and we have a winner. Thank you, Megan. Elkie. <laughs> <laughs> Alki Wilkins, I believe. Alki at 769-7709. I think that's who it is. But anyway, uh, Alki wins a case of Powerade. Very good. Alki. You know Alki, you don't you? You certainly do. Okay. Son played hockey for me. Fine hockey player. A couple of years ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Okay, so Alki, congratulations. You're another WMSA Powerade power play winner. Puck, thank you. Deep in Messina territory now. Raiders control. It's Ben Nightingale. Nightingale, dipsy doodles. He's going to skate out left side and flip it ahead on the wing to O'Shea. O'Shea feeds Day. Or that's Mankey's, rather, feeding Day. Knocked away. Comes to Barkley. Barkley. Oh, he just got railed. And the puck dumped back to the Messina line. Nightingale is there. And I think there's going to be a penalty on the play. Oh, wait a minute here. As Barkley ended up in the Aquinas bench area. And what did they blow the whistle for? I'm not sure. I don't think there's going to be a penalty on the play. Could have been uh, too many men in the bench for uh, for Aquinas, but uh, I don't know why Adam they... Barkley, a uh, good solid check, ended up in the Aquinas bench. That go-ahead goal 
for the Raiders, his fourth of the year at the 307 mark. Eric Meacham, a power play goal, stole the puck from behind the net and tucked it in the short side of beauty. And the Raiders, that was their fourth or <coughs> seventh a power play goal in 34 attempts. And percentage wise, what's that? Well, I'm not going to figure that one out right now. Just <laughs> it's smarty. <laughs> Here's Messina with a puck ahead. It goes to St. Thomas to Cormanius. Nice bounce pass off the boards. Cormanius stops, flipping it in front of the net, and it's blocked. Somebody, I think Hackett, made a great play. Puck bounces out to neutralize to Rosie there. Dumps it on the backhand, back in the zone. 2-1, Messina leads. Oh, St. Thomas throws a hard check. The puck picked up. Side of the net by Kerwin. He tries to center it. He can't. Puck in the corner. Kerwin throws the check again. Around the boards it comes. Cormanius cruising in there. He ties it up along with Kerwin and a couple of Aquinas players. And we'll, we'll have a face-off inside Aquinas territory. The answer to your question, 20.5%. <laughs> we'll call it 21%. 21%. That's not good enough. The Raiders would like to do a little better than that, I would think. Yeah, well, they were uh, coming off, uh, I think, after the first three games, Jerry. They were running around 8%. Yeah, so, so they've uh, improved quite they've a bit. Improved. Cormanius again will take the face off, wins the draw, back to Durant, but not quite far enough back, and here comes Aquinas. Weston with it. Here's Weston in on the off wing. Takes it in the corner, looks to set it up. <laughs> St. Thomas takes him out of the play, and the pass goes all the way back inside Aquinas territory. Here's Corcoran with it. Corcoran in behind the net, skates out, trying to flip it to himself, but uh, it bounces free, and here comes Kringoli into the Messina zone, trying to make the move, and the puck knocked away by Durant. Here comes Cormanius, bounce pass to the blue line. Here's a bouncer, goes into the corner as Smythe watched it go by. Here's Charlie Durant, ripping it around the boards again. Doesn't quite get out of there here. Weston flips it in the corner. Durant again picks up the loose puck. And what well, we were skating in slow motion right now for some reason. Now Durant will step it up a little. Here comes Charlie. Going to rush the puck. He takes it across, trying to slip it through the middle, and it's intercepted and knocked away. Dumped to the Messina line. DeRozzi is there. Here's DeRozzi trying to flip it ahead to Cormanius. Rossi dumps it in behind. DeRozzi picks it up again. Here's DeRozzi. Has it knocked away by Rossi. Rossi dumps it in behind the net. Durant racing for it in the corner. Doesn't quite get to it. The puck squirts free to Cormanius. Cormanius rips it around the boards for Walsh. Walsh is where is it? Can't find it. Corcoran picks it up. His shot blocked. Here's a shot in front and another save by Smythe. And DeRozzi picks up the puck. We've got an injured player. And I think that's Charlie Durant who took block that shot by Corcoran. And he was playing with a sore foot. And I think he probably took that right in exactly the same spot. And he's going to get up and skate it off. Oh, he's a tough youngster, but uh, boy, that does hurt. I'll tell you, that was the best uh, sustained effort by the Little Irish in this game. And that was by the third line of Maloney, Rich, and Rossi. And uh, I'll tell you, if Rossi, right at the end, just prior to that whistle, had spotted, uh, he, he, was, he was almost parallel with the net and tried a, a blind backhand at the net. If he would have looked up and saw Maloney was parked all the way out in front uh, and, and got it to him, I think uh, this would be a tie hockey game. 2-1, Messina leads, 8.54 left in the second period on the A1 TV and appliance scoreboard. Maloney will face off against Meacham. Off the draw, puck in the slot. The shot trickles right on, and covering up is Smythe. As uh, Cameron got it with a stick on the way by and slowed it down, and it just trickled into Smythe, and he jumped on it for the faceoff. But as you said, this game has slowed to a trickle, oh, Jerry. Uh, that was a trickle shot, and it has slowed to a trickle. Both clubs, a lot of whistles. A lot of, uh, you know, goalies holding on. and This is to the benefit of the Little Irish. Oh, absolutely. Messina wants to really play an up-tempo game. And here comes Cameron. Head man pass to Meacham. Meacham takes it across. Here's Meacham. Shot. Score! And he used Corcoran as a screen that time. And Meacham picks up his second goal of the game. And the Raiders go up 3-1. to one. Beautiful uh, shot by Eric Meacham, and exactly, Healy had no chance because number 22, Sean Corcoran, was screening him. Uh, just a beautiful shot by Eric Meacham. Got the pass. I'll have to find out who passed it up to him. Uh, one of the Raider defensemen, I think. And uh, But uh, just outside the Little Irish Blue Line, they backed off, gave him the zone. It was odd man rush, three on two. He went down, went to his left a little bit. Uh, the left wing crossed in behind him, and he used number 22 as a screen. And uh, Healy had no chance of making a change, but I'll tell you, Sean Healy did not, uh, 
not Sean, but Chuck Healy had no chance of that one. He didn't see that puck coming till it was in the net behind him. Number 33, it's uh, Laziano, I think, is going to replace it. Latanzio. Is it uh, Sunday night? Sunday night. Yeah, uh, tomorrow Monday night. morning. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we, we still don't know. Uh, Wellington's still on the waiting list. Huh? Still on. Uh, Dasher still on IR, but uh, had a report today that he's healing. Okay. Puck inside the Messina zone. Cameron wraps it around the boards, kept in at the point by the defense of the Irish. Kringoli in behind the net with it. Bubba takes him out of the play. The puck bouncing underneath him. We got a penalty on Messina. And the whistle blows. One, two, holding. three, four, five. We have a, yeah, it's a holding call. It was a scrum behind the net. There was a pileup of, uh, of five players. And uh, Billy Foster making the call. And let's see, it's, it's got to be the last guy up at number 18. Is it Matt Gerard that's going to go to the I would bit? guess so. Holding the call. Yeah, yeah, Matt's the last one to bottom the pile. And somewhere in that uh, melee, uh, Billy Foster uh, saw something he didn't like. And Bubba's shaking his head. Not me. You got the wrong guy. I didn't hold him. I'm the guy with the great backhand. Don't you remember? <laughs> yeah, but Billy didn't see that game last oh, that's night. That's right. Okay, so Matt Girard picking up... Uh, a penalty for the Raiders, and uh, let's see, Matt's been in that sin bin a few times. This is a six minor oh, yeah. penalty uh, uh -huh. of the year. Okay, Timmy O'Shea out there along with Justin Walsh to try to kill it. Ben Nightingale and Barkley. And Barkley has the puck and knocked away from him. Here's a chance for Corcoran. Oh, right across the goal mouth. Comes back to the blue line. McMahon, his shot knocked down by the Raiders. Walsh trying to tie it up. It comes free. Controlling it is Doherty. Darty takes it behind the net into the circle now. Back to the blue line to Corcoran. Corcoran flips it in behind the net. Puck around the boards. Kringoli with it poked away. Comes to Barkley. Barkley's got room. Off the glass, doesn't clear the zone though. It's dumped right back in the corner. It'll come around on the other side to Nightingale. Nightingale taken out of the play. Kringoli picks up the loose puck, but Nightingale stays with it. Nightingale digging for it. Barkley comes in to help out. The puck finally squirts three, and Justin Walsh is there. And here comes Justin with it. He's got O'Shea behind him. Justin busts in, shoots it. Save made. Rebound goes to the side of the net. And uh, O'Shea trying to come up with it back the other way. Comes Gurnett. Gurnett fakes the shot. Lost the puck, gets it back again. Gurnett faked the shot again, only this time fanned on it. And <laughs> here comes Messina, and Nightingale's just going to lift it out to center ice. Still 3-1, to one, Raiders lead about 7 minutes left, about 18 seconds left in the power play. Puck poke check by DeRosi. Comes to Corcoran. Corcoran goes in on Nightingale. Nightingale steals the puck. Good play. Stayed with him. Now here comes Carmanius. Dipsy dueling. Cuts it across. Centers it right on, and it trickles in the net. And the goaltender had it. Oh, I, I hate to see that. It went right through his legs, and he made the save, and it just went through. And Cormanius uh, is going to get the goal. And uh, yeah, that uh, and uh, I, is that a shorthanded goal? Also, is there a I think the penalty the had just elapsed, but uh, we'll check the time on yeah. it. But all uh, Nick Cormanius wanted to do was he wanted to get it towards the net because he had a line mate breaking in behind and. Uh, Oh, boy. That was Meacham going to the net. And, of course, Meacham kept going, but the puck crawled across the line before he could get a stick on it. He wanted to get that hat trick, but he was just a little too late. Yeah, Steve uh, Latanzio uh, oh, boy. made the save, but it just kind of trickled between the legs, and it wasn't a hard uh, hard shot at all. Ooh, real weak goal, but... And they all count. They Here's all Hackett. Count. Winding up, fires it wide. Puck around the boards. Raiders trying to move Ward. We have a whistle. And what do we got? Another penalty. I think this one. Uh, it's well outside or yeah, just a, a man in the crease. Probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, he's coming. No, he did. Call I thought he called the penalty. I saw the arm come up, and uh, I just don't know who he called it on. Well, he's uh, it's certainly it on the It looks like it's on the, uh, the Raiders. It is on the Raiders. And uh, number 11, is that uh, Mankies. Mike Menkes? Yeah, Menkes will get the, the call, and uh, an interference call. So the Raiders is down another man here with 6.36 left in the second period, leading it 4-1. to one. Mike, uh, only a, let's see, what year is Mike? Uh, he's a senior. Oh, he's a senior. But he's okay. a first-year senior. First-year senior. I think he had to go and check with Coach Long. Uh, Coach, uh, he's flagging me for a penalty. Should I go or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Mike. I think. <laughs> Off the faceoff, Cormanius kicks it ahead. 
and it's poked to the blue line. Kept in Corcoran. Here's Corcoran, shot right on, save made, rebound. It's underneath Smythe, and he holds on for the faceoff. Ooh, the little Irish came within a whisker, shot from the point, and uh, number 15 cruising across Ferrari uh, had redirected that, and it changed directions on Nate Smythe, and uh, he was able to react quickly, made the save, and then had presence of mind to jump on that rebound. Face off right side in the Messina zone. Ferrari will take the draw against Cormanius. Nick wins it, goes to DeRozzi. He looks to waste some time in the corner. Puck squirts away. They dig for it there. It's still free. And finally, it's Charlie Durant lifting it. And it's gloved into the corner, but Durant comes up with it first. So it comes to Meacham. Meacham doesn't clear. Corcoran kept it in. Nope, Meacham steals. Corcoran gets it back again. Here comes Corcoran, gets a shot off. It does not go on. Bounces back to Gurnett. He winds up. His shot. There's going to be another penalty on Messina as we're going to have uh, Durant call yeah. for a hit from behind. No question, uh, Charlie Durant. Hit from behind, the interference. Getting back to Mike Menke's now in Mike's defense. No wonder he went to, to the uh, bench because the penalty really wasn't on him. The interference call was on Nate Smythe. That's oh, okay. why we couldn't figure it out. That's why Mike said, hey, what's up here? He went to the bench. It's not on me. I didn't do anything. But uh, Coach Long uh, asked him to serve the penalty for Nate Smythe. But uh, Raiders back in the box again with two men in the box. Charlie Durant picking this one up. So two-man disadvantage once again for Messino for 49 seconds. Tim O'Shea off the faceoff, back to the point. Hackett fired it way wide, way wide. Comes around the boards. Walsh just pokes it. Corcoran keeps it in, though. Here's Corcoran. Centers it in front, knocked away. And the Raiders clear it down the ice. And yes, that's Timmy O'Shea again. Great penalty killer. The Little Irish, I think they should get the puck in the hands of 22 and let him do some, do some work out there because their power play is anemic right at this point. Corcoran loses at that time, though. It comes in the zone. And O'Shea digging for it in the corner. Looks to waste a little time. Bounces free. And finally, picked up by the Irish. Out to center ice. Here comes Corcoran. Busting in three on one. Here's the shot. Well, they fanned on the shot. Comes back to Hackett at the point. He skates it. His shot across the goal mouth. I think Smythe got a piece of it. And it comes to Gurnett. He centers it. It's knocked away in the corner by O'Shea. Timmy after one of the penalties has elapsed. The puck comes in behind the net. Cameron throws a check. Slides the puck over to Walsh. Walsh dumps it. Doesn't clear the zone, though. Kept in at the point by Corcoran. Corcoran flips it to the 45, then cruises in front of the net. Right across the goal mouth, and they score. And that's going to be Lou Ferrari getting the power play goal with 4.49 left in the period. And that makes it 4-2. to two. And Messina guilty of standing around a little bit that time. Uh, yes, yeah, standing around and Lou Ferrari making amends because just prior to that, that previous rush, Corcoran down the right side set him up beautifully down in the slot, rushing down the right side, little diagonal pass, put it right on his stick, and Ferrari fanned on it. And that, uh, that time, he didn't fan on it. Parked himself. There were two... Uh, Red shirts, or I should say maroon shirts, I guess, wine shirts parked in front. One defenseman, and he's the guy who was left unattended, and uh, they got the puck across. I'm not sure who it was, but uh, Ferrari didn't make any mistake. Off the faceoff, Raiders control. Here's Cameron across the blue line. Skates it by one, has it poke checked away out to neutral ice. Matt Gerard is there, dumping it back in the zone. Bounces free to Maloney, and he flips it out to center ice. Puck down the ice in the Messina zone, Smythe. Drops it in behind the net, around the boards. Here comes Cormanius. Nick, head man pass for St. Thomas, goes by him. St. Thomas chasing it down behind the net along with Collins, the defenseman. Now it's Corcoran out to center ice again. Cameron is there. Trevor, or Trevor, geez, Michael with it. Flips it ahead. St. Thomas throws a check, doesn't know where the puck is, but now it goes in behind the net. Ripped around the boards by Mike Collins again. Gerard with it. He winds it up, it's blocked. Gerard keeps it in, trying to flip it in the corner, goes off a couple of legs and out to center ice. And finally, it's dumped to the red line. Cormanius drops it back on the point to Cameron. Cameron skates it ahead, skates by the check, dumps it right on, and uh, the save made by Latanzio, and he's going to hold on for the faceoff. The official time of that second Aquinas goal, 10-11. Lou Ferrari picking up the goal with Kyle Rossi and uh, number 22, who's always in the mix, Sean Corcoran, also the other assist. A beautiful pass uh, out of the corner uh, by uh, Corcoran, and uh, 
Ferrari, the Rossi, and I think uh, Ferrari were standing in front, and the Raider defenseman could only take one of them, and Rossi's the one who got the puck, and uh, he didn't make, or Ferrari, and he didn't make any mistake on it. Off the face off, DeRosi, quick wrist shot, knocked down in front, and Grenette picks it up. Here's Grenette to Kringoli. Kringoli busting in, his drop pass knocked away by O'Shea. O'Shea dumps in the corner, gets tied up. Puck comes free in behind the net. Charlie Durant with it, bangs it off the boards to Slack, and Slack moves it ahead. Anthony Diagosino to Timmy O'Shea, back to Slack. Here's Slack turning it around, can't get the shot off, has to dump it in behind the net. Kringoli is there to pick it up for the Irish. Around the boards it goes, and they try to move it out. O'Shea can't keep it in. Here come the Irish. Charlie Durant is there, has it knocked away, gets it back again in the corner in his own end. Durant rips it around the boards for Slack. Slack gets tied up. The puck comes free. Here's Gurney in behind. Bounces in front of the net, but it's picked up by DeRosie. Here's Eric stepping by the check. He can skate it. Here comes DeRosie. Head man to O'Shea. O'Shea has it knocked away at the blue line, following up on the play. DeRosie shot. Save made by Latanzio. Oh, Mike Collins, a uh, big mistake. Uh, intercepted the puck uh, in his own, picked up a loose puck. The Raiders on a rush in his own zone. Had a chance to turn and, and clear it out of the zone. Uh, he wasn't sure where line mates were, but had an opportunity to clear it. He did. He continued bringing it back inside his own zone, and it was taken away from him. And uh, just a golden opportunity for the Raiders to make it 5-2. 4-2 our score here on the A1 TV and Appliance scoreboard. 2.37 left in the period. Second period. Off the faceoff, puck comes back to the blue line. Barkley can't keep it in, trickles out to center ice. Ward throws a check, but here comes little Irish Hackett. Winds up, his shot is blocked. In behind the net, Nightingale throws a check. The puck comes free to Barkley. He rips it around the boards for Jeff Day. Here comes Day, gets away from him. Dumped back to the Messina line. Mankies leaves it for Barkley. Barkley ahead to Day, nice pass, but offsides. Lit just a tad ahead of the play. And what a uh, thunderous check that uh, number 22 put on, uh, I think it was Ben Nightingale. Uh, it was 22 Corcoran again. I thought he might have got him with a knee a little bit, but he sent the Raider player uh, up over the backside, and uh, he did a gainer and a half and came down heavily. Nice check by number 22, Sean Corcoran. Off the faceoff, the puck right at the blue line of St. Or I should say Aquinas. Here comes Ward, his shot save made. And holding on for the faceoff is the goaltender, and that is Steve Latenzio. And uh, Steve is uh, third or fourth on the depth chart, and uh, right now, he's uh, everything that's at him, he's not giving up any rebounds. He wants a faceoff. He After that one, uh, the first shot on him that went between his legs, a little shaky, but uh, he'll get stronger, hopefully. There's Meacham, left side, off the faceoff. Controlled by Aquinas in behind the net. They try to wrap it behind the boards. We're into the final two minutes of the second period. Ken Dudley with it. Rips it around the boards. It's poked out to center ice. Meacham. No, it's going to be Bubba coming up with it. And he backhanded it right into the Aquinas bench. So we'll have a face off in neutral ice. Nice little move by number 10 out there, Doug Hackett. This is what uh, he's taught to do. The puck comes around the dasher. The uh, Raider defenseman uh, drops down on him, uh, pinches down, and you just chip the puck by uh, that defenseman. And hopefully, uh, well, first thing, you want to clear the zone. Hopefully, you got a center breaking, uh, breaks it up. You get an odd man two-on-one rush. Nice move by number 10, Doug Hackett. Off the faceoff, Dudley with it. Dumps it in the Messina zone. In behind the net, Smythe stops it for Girard. Rips it around the boards, O'Shea. O'Shea trying to move it ahead. Has it knocked away by Gurney. Comes to Meacham. He'll go the other side to Justin Walsh. And Walsh waits for it, and it comes up with it. Here comes Justin. Oh, nice head man pass to O'Shea. Drop pass to Justin Walsh. He overskated it. And back comes Aquinas. Now Gerard throws the check. The puck squirts by him. Here comes Gurnett. Gurnett across the blue line. Meacham just takes him out of the play. And the puck comes in behind Cameron. Cameron gets tied up, and the puck's still there. Finally comes to Gurnett again, trying to go in behind. Meacham throws a check, now Gerard throws a check. The puck bounces side of the net, and Smythe will cover it up and hold on for the faceoff. Excellent job by number 22, Eric Meacham uh, for the Raiders. Uh, Bubba Gerard had pinched down, and uh, Gamble lost the gamble. The uh, 
Aquinas player tipped it by him, was going to create the two-on-one odd man rush, but just good hustling back checking by uh, Meacham. Got back to neutralize that and make it a two-on-two -two and uh, no damage done. 102 left in the second period. Raiders lead at 4-2 on the A1 TV and appliance scoreboard. Hackett comes out to take the face off now. And let's see here. We've got uh, Nick Cormanius' line for Messina off the draw. Here's Corcoran. His shot through traffic goes wide. St. Thomas with it, lets it out to center ice, trying to flip it ahead for Kermanius, knocked away. He stays with it, though, finally bounces free. Nick drops it back to DeRosie. Ahead it goes to St. Thomas, trying to dump it in the zone, knocked away, and back comes Aquinas. Across the blue line, Rossi gets tied up. Messina doesn't clear the zone, now they do. Here comes Kermanius. Kermanius down the left wing side, does a shift as it knocked away. Puck dumped back out to center ice. DeRosie with it at his own blue line. Flips it ahead for Cormanius to St. Thomas to Cormanius. Cormanius takes it across, has it knocked away, and trickles back into the Messina zone. Here comes Rossi, two on one, and he centers it right in front, and uh, who was that? Ferrari just couldn't get a stick on the bouncer. The puck was bouncing in his defense. Here comes Messina back the other way. Charlie Durant, drop pass. They try to slide it through. It's knocked to the blue line. Winds up, Kerwin shot wide. Rebound, Cormanius wraps it around. Oh, just missed as the buzzer sounds, and the Raiders will go into the locker. A competitor like LaPointe to sit to, for a couple of periods. Here comes a chance for Messina. Joe Ward busting it all by himself. Backhander, save made, rebound. And the goaltender, uh, Latanzio, didn't like what uh, the Messina forward was poking at him. He gets up and throws a check and hit his own guy. Oh, the uh, little Irish defenseman, and it's number 22 again, who's been uh, party to the third part a couple of Raiders goals and he, he's a but he made a classic boo-boo whoa he backhand pass to his teammate over there right on the Raiders stick bad play okay off the face off Charlie Durant poke checks it but it's out to center ice all the way down the ice and uh, icing waved off apparently ruling DeRosie could have played it and the puck comes around the boards to LaPointe Michael takes it out to center ice bangs it off the boards comes to Collins Collins trying to clear the zone it's out to center ice here comes Garnett with it, across the blue line in the Messina zone, gets a shot. Smythe makes the save from long range and holds on for the faceoff. Just want to recap that uh, turnover giveaway by Corcoran. Right off the draw, the puck came back on the faceoff, the opening faceoff, back to the Aquinas defenseman. And he just uh, haphazardly a little backhanded pass over to his teammate. Never even saw number eight, Jeff Day, who would, was out in center, stepped right up through, intercepted the pass, and was in clear from the blue line. And only a good save by Latanzio. Off the faceoff, LaPointe trying to come up with it in the circle. It comes to Cameron instead. He flips it over to Matt Gerard. Gerard behind the net, back to Cameron. Cameron's head man pass right on the stick of Day. Here comes Day with Ward and LaPointe. And Ward just skated across the blue line ahead of the play. Yeah, and just a little extra move by uh, number eight, Jeff Day at the blue line. He uh, little extra uh, back and forth with that stick. He uh, one time too many. So the faceoff moves outside on the offsides, and uh, we're going to have a line change as Meacham's line comes out from Messina against, the, uh, against Hackett. Off the faceoff, Walsh bangs it in the zone. Corcoran flips it ahead, comes to the Messina line, and into the zone it comes. Right there is Gerard trying to move it ahead, bangs at it there. Finally, it's O'Shea picking it up and starting out. Headman pass right on the stick of Justin Walsh. Walsh trying to center it back again, bounces in front. Comes back to the blue line and trickles out the center ice. Walsh again dumps it in the zone. Messina has to clear the zone, but Aquinas clears the puck. Here comes Cameron again. Steps by the check, goes to Walsh, has it poked away to the blue line. Kept in by Meacham. He winds up, and a save made on the pad, and a nice one by the Aquinas goaltender, Latanzio. To be quick on that. Now Meacham centers it all the way back to the blue line. Gerard steps in, trying to slide it through. It's knocked away. Cameron will try to keep it in at the point he does. In the corner, here's Meacham in front to O'Shea. He tips it, and the save is made. Puck goes in the corner, and Corcoran flips it to the 45, and they'll move it out to center ice. Comes to Hackett, into the Messina zone. Here's Hackett in the corner, just dumps it in behind the net. Cameron racing around for it there, trying to move it along to Walsh. Walsh has it knocked away, Meacham. Meacham will bang it in behind the net and circle after it. Here's Meacham with it. 
Goes on the 45 to O'Shea. O'Shea's got Walsh breaking. Nice pass. Here comes Walsh busting in. Winds up the drive. Score! Justin Walsh. And Messina goes ahead 5-2. to two. Pretty goal, pretty pass. Timmy O'Shea, Justin Walsh uh, on his right wing, cut diagonally across the center zone. Timmy O'Shea hit him on the fly. Justin Walsh uh, down the wrong wing. You could see it coming. Uh, Latanzio never moved, never came out to challenge, just uh, dead in his tracks, sitting back in the crease. And Justin Walsh cranked one up from about uh, 42 feet and just blew it by Latanzio uh, on the glove side. Just a beautiful play all the way around. And that's Justin's second goal of the weekend. Yes, it is, and that was a beauty. Justin uh, having a very good tournament for Messina. Off the faceoff. Puck goes deep in Messina territory. After there is Barkley. Barkley trying to pass to himself behind the net. Gets tied up. And the puck comes back out in front. And that net got knocked up. And the, the, the Aquinas player fed it underneath the net out to a man in the slot. And, of course, the whistle blew. Yeah, that's against the rules. It's a nice play if you can get away with it. But <laughs> lifted up the back of the net and threw it right out into the slot from right through the net. Rossi was so surprised to get it, he didn't shoot it at first. And then when he did, of course, the whistle blew. <laughs> Off the faceoff. Puck sits in the circle. Pokes free in front. Here's a chance. Swife makes the save. Puck side of the net. Finally, it's picked up by Cormanius. And Cormania skates it ahead, long head man pass, intercepted, but St. Thomas picks it up, trying to flip it through, but Corcoran is there to bang it all the way down the ice. That's going to trickle in on Smythe, Well, he lets it go by into the corner. Rich with it there. Oh, hard check thrown by Barkley. Puck along the boards, Meacham. Me, or I should say, uh, that's not Meacham, that's Cormanius. He throws a check. The puck comes across on the other side. Poked free nicely, and it's dumped in behind the net. Around the boards, Clint Kerwin again. Very good hands, Kerwin. He just kind of feathered the pass. Comes back out to center ice. DeRosie with it. He dumps it right back in behind the net. Picked up there by Corcoran. Corcoran starts it ahead. Dumps it down the ice. Went by everybody. And no, they waved the icing off. Doesn't go quite far enough for icing. Durant picks it up. Rips it around the boards. Picked up there by Anthony D'Agostino. Feeds it out to center ice. Here comes Jeff Slack with it for Messina. Across the blue line, dumps it in the corner. Mankey's trying to come up with it. Now D'Agostino, poke check by him. And the Irish started back the other way. Here come the Irish. Down the ice. Into the zone. Corcoran, cross ice pass. And the shot is fired wide. Dudley tries to keep it in. He didn't. Here comes Messina back the other way. It's D'Agostino and Mankey's, but they're off sides. Nobody touches it except Dudley and uh, little Irish clear the zone. Comes to DeRosie, flips it back inside Irish territory, back out, right back to DeRosie, jumped over his stick, and Charlie Durant will pick it up. Raiders lead it 5-2 to two on the Corky scoreboard. We have a whistle as Durant mixes it up with Pringoli. And uh, I think there was an offsides call. That's the reason for the whistle. That new combination thrown together for this game, Menkes, Diagostino, and Slack. Every shift out there, they've looked strong. In fact, uh, Anthony, uh, a couple of shifts ago, uh, he uh, evaded a great uh, crunching check by uh, Corcoran and then uh, laid a lick on uh, his uh, buddy, number eight, uh, Sean, Kevin Dudley. Off the faceoff, here comes La Point. The shot. Oh, he hit the goalpost. He used the defenseman as a screen, hit the goalpost. Back to the blue line. Trevor, or Trent, geez, I keep wanting to say that. Mike Cameron, the shot is wide. Messina has to clear the zone. They do. Here's LaPointe with it. Cross the blue line again. Throws a check. The loose puck squirts in front. Cleared to the blue line, not out of the zone. Cameron keeps it in again. The puck squirts free, top of the circle. Ward takes a whack, goes to LaPointe. LaPointe centering pass is blocked. Good play by Collins to break it up. Here's LaPointe stealing the puck again. He throws a check. The puck comes today. Back to LaPointe in the corner. Michael centering pass in front. They shot and score. Ward, what a pass from LaPointe to Ward, and it's 6-2. to two. Just relentless. Uh, you know, you can see the wheels coming off. We talked between you and I, between the second and, uh, and third, uh, in, in that second intermission, you could just see the, the little Irish. Uh, and oh, they call no goal. In the crease, probably. They'll yeah. call him, uh, but it was a beautiful play. LaPointe uh, dug it out of the uh, corner and threw it out front to Joe Ward, who redirected it. Evidently, he was in the crease. But Messina, again, just relentless, whether the goal Oh, or not. kicked in, they called it. Kicked in. Kicked in? Ooh. Okay. 
But uh, again, the Raiders uh, wave after wave, and uh, the Little Irish really back on their heels. Coach Tim Long not happy with that call at all. I thought he got it off the blade of the yeah, stick. Yeah, it looked like it to me, too. Well, that's one thing. Uh, Billy Foster's a good ref, but he's tough on Messina because he's from Messina. Well, I'm sure it's a right call if he was right on the play. Here's a shot from Walsh. All of a sudden, he likes to shoot. He shoots again a couple of saves, and the goaltender, well, tried to cover it up. He didn't, but the whistle blew. Quick whistle that time, and the uh, faceoff will come inside Little Irish territory. Well, the Nine, Raiders, okay, go I'm ahead. I'm sorry, Jerry. No, the Raiders can sense that. They, you know, they're up 5-2, 941, and, and they know the Little Irish are back in their heels, and they're just coming. Uh, it's like smelling that, uh, that a shark smelling blood. That was one of the, uh, the problems that Messina had early in the season. They didn't have that... Uh, you know, that go for the juggler. Uh, here's Walsh again, the shot. Ooh, the defenseman blocked it. That had to hurt. And here come the Irish. Rich with it, across the blue line in the Messina zone, dumps it across the goal mouth. In the corner, Gerard blocks the shot. It's up in his equipment, so we'll have a face off. You know, they, they can sense, they can smell the blood in the water, and they, they really go after it now. Right. Once they gain the zone, it's, uh, boy, oh, boy, it's kitty bar the door. Look out, and they're just coming at you. They go to the net without the puck, which is so important, and uh, they're getting it into that slot area. And I, I know that the Aquinas defenders uh, must think there's more than uh, five of them uh, or six of them out there. Off the faceoff, here's a shot right across the goal mouth. Walsh after it in the corner. Rich pinches in. Knocks it free. Puck comes in behind. Bounces around. Meacham will rip it around the boards. We got another penalty uh, against the Irish that time. It's a roughing call. Or maybe he got them both. Nope. Looks like Kyle Rossi yeah. is going to pick up. Uh, he took a shot. Trevor Cameron gave him a good check, and Rossi retaliated. And uh, Trevor, uh, or Trevor, jeez. <laughs> now I've got it in my mind. Michael is uh, very cool-headed, uh, unlike... Uh, the two older brothers, and he... Oh, they were... Trevor and Chris were very cool-headed now, the jury. That... <laughs> so he, he Outstanding doesn't... hockey players. Oh, absolutely. Michael, uh, he's, you know, he doesn't uh, worry too much about anything. He's played good defense in this tournament, yes, too. Yes, he has. Raiders on the power play. Let's see if we can give away another uh, case of Powerade. What do you think, Dave? Well, uh... I don't know. They're really on the attack. and uh, Here comes Timmy O'Shea. Down, O'Shea to Meacham. Back to the point. Cameron fakes the shot. Goes to Meach. Meach skates in front. Bounces to himself. Has it knocked away. And Corcoran is there. Flipping it, but Cameron keeps it in. Here's Michael with it. Flips it to O'Shea. Back to Cameron. Back at the 45. Meacham steps in front. Fired it wide. And uh, yes, he does. Gerard keeps it in. Flips it around behind the net for O'Shea. Here's O'Shea, over to Walsh, around the boards, Corcoran intercepts, and he almost lost it, he did in front. Here's a chance for Walsh, has it poked away at the last minute. Not out of the zone, Gerard keeps it in. Bouncing puck in the corner, finally the Irish come up with it and flip it to the, to the red line. Here's Cameron, whoa, and Walsh tried to get out of the zone and he just couldn't quite cross the line before Trevor, or before That's Michael right. <laughs> took it in the zone. Bubba Gerard uh, playing the uh, left point on the power play uh, in place of Charlie Duran over there. And uh, Bubba, uh, he's still shaking his head. He called for the puck a couple times. I could hear him up here one time yell, Mike! <laughs> All the way up here. Mike, let me write that down. Mike Cameron, Mike Cameron. Say there. it ten times. <laughs> yes. Here's LaPointe, steps side of the net, has it poked away by Corcoran. Here comes Corcoran. Flipping and he's got a man breaking. Hackett's not going to catch up with it, though. It goes in behind the Messina net. Charlie Durant with it. Durant rips it around the boards, comes to LaPointe. Seven seconds left in the power play. Unless they score quickly, we're not going to give away a case. Three seconds, two seconds. That'll take care of it right there. Here's Cormanius backhander. Scores! Just, oh, we just missed giving away a case. It came one second after the penalty had elapsed as Cormanius gets a beautiful backhand goal, and the Raiders go up 6-2. to two. And I was kind of looking at the clock, kind of looking at the ice and listening to you, And uh, but it was a beautiful goal. And I, but I don't know who made the feed, but it was a sharp... Mike LaPointe. Was it Mike LaPointe? Yep. Just a super pass right here. Uh, uh, Mike from uh, at the top of the uh, blue line, and Cormanius cut down the middle and put it right on his stick, and he went in and uh, walked around one defenseman and a backhand shot, a quick backhander to the far side to beat Latanzio. So the Raiders take a 6-2 to two lead. 
DeRosie with a puck off the face, looking to break it ahead. Here comes Slack with it across the blue line. Flips it in the corner to Mankies. Mankies looking for the side of the net. Centers in front. Oh, good chance there. And uh, Anthony Diagostino couldn't get a stick on it. He was pretty well tied up, though. Here comes Slack again trying to slide it through. Knocked away. Hard check thrown there. Cor or that's not Corcoran. That's uh, Jason Weston. And the puck trickles in the Messina zone to Rosie. Head man to Slack. Here comes Slack. Two on one with Diagostino. Slack winds up. Shot. Save. Rebound, and holding on for the faceoff is Latanzio. And Raiders, Jeff Slack and Anthony Diagostino <laughs> breaking down on a two-on-one and uh, back the uh, little Irish defender right back into the goaltender. And Jeff Slack used Diagostino as a, uh, as a decoy, and he wound up from about uh, 20 feet and just drilled one. Fortunately for Latanzio, it was right at him. Any place else, uh, near side, far side. And, it would have uh, been a goal. would have been a goal. And we got to take that. That wasn't uh, Mike Cameron that's going to pick up the assist on that, Jerry. That was uh, Mike LaPointe. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, Mike I'm LaPointe. sorry. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Eric DeRosi getting the DeRosi also picked up My an mistake. assist. Okay. Face off right side in the little Irish zone. Messina wins the draw. Here's Nightingale. Shot right on. Rebound. Trickles just wide. And, oh, trying was Nick Cormanius to kind of flip it in. And he ends up flipping it up over the boards and into the stands. And he had the puck way behind the net, and he tried to reach around and direct it in, and he just couldn't do it. You know, he's so quick. Uh, you figure as a defender, you, you know, you're going to beat him to the puck, and all of a sudden he scoots by, he bends down underneath your arm, and he goes by you like a, like a lightning bug or a lightning bolt, and he's onto the puck so quickly, you can't believe how quick he is. Only a sophomore. Darting, shaken up on the play. Uh, he's slowly getting up. And the assistant coach uh, coming out on the ice for the Little Irish, he's, uh, he's up and he's skating off under his own power, but he's, uh, he's knocking some of the cobwebs out there. 6.48 left in this championship game, and it uh, looks like the Raiders are going to lay claim to their own tournament uh, up 6-2. Reminder, uh, we'll have letters to Santa Claus after the game. I know it's uh, late already, but here's Barkley's shot right on. Latanzio bobbles it. Oh, big opportunity there, and it was fired just wide by Clint Kerwin as Latanzio bobbled it. Back to the blue line, Barkley tries to keep it in. His shot is blocked, and it's Nightingale dumping it to the blue line, picking it up there is Kerwin again. Kerwin, head man pass, Cormanius. Cormanius, dipsy doodling in the corner. Oh, nice pass. Kerwin, shot, save. Or I'm not sure if it was blocked or got through or what, but anyway... It's back out to neutral ice. Here's Kringoli trying to chase it down into the corner. Centers it right in front, deflected right on. And uh, Smythe says, well, enough of that, and he covers it up. Want to remind everybody, a uh, nice game here tonight. The iTech Messina Senior All-Star team uh, will be taking on a uh, team from, from the college ranks. A lot of the, of course, uh, college players uh, from the scene are home for the holidays, and they kind of got a, an unofficial team together. They're going to play tonight at 8.30, and that'll be uh, very entertaining hockey. There's no checking, and it's skating and shooting and, uh, and a lot of fun. Off the faceoff, puck goes out to center ice. Corcoran couldn't keep it in. Here's Corcoran back in his own end, flips it ahead. Hackett, he can't control. Here comes Walsh. Walsh slides it through to O'Shea, back to Walsh, and it goes into the corner. Corcoran and Walsh go together. Puck bounces free now. It goes in behind the net. Collins. Collins, oh, he almost lost it to Meacham. But here comes Lou Ferrari. Ferrari, three on two. Ferrari oh, makes a nice move, centering fast. A big save by Nat Smythe on the play, and the puck comes in on him again. And he holds on for the faceoff. Best save of the game for Smythe. Best save of the game, at, yes, and that line of uh, Meacham, Walsh, and uh, Timmy O'Shea have really had a uh, stellar uh, game here this afternoon. I don't know what we've got. Let's see, looking down, uh, one, two, bum, 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 uh, got another three, injured four, player five, for Aquinas. Five and, points uh, that, for that line this afternoon. Just an excellent chip. Let's see here. Our, this, off the faceoff, Corcoran. And he can't keep it in the zone. Actually, Corcoran's up playing a wing on this power play. As they got to look to him to do something here. The trouble is, when they got him up front, they don't have anybody back at the blue line. But we'll see what happens. Corcoran shoots it from center right. Smythe lost it out of the glove, but it goes behind the net. And here comes Cameron flipping around the boards for LaPointe. Can't clear the zone. Bangs at it. Where's the puck? Right by the blue line. Still in there. Finally, it comes free. Raiders move it ahead, and down the ice it goes. 
And we've got Jeff Day out there killing along with Mike LaPointe. Puck around the boards. In the zone, stolen away by Day to LaPointe. LaPointe shot right on. Kick save made by goaltender Latanzio. Here comes the shot from just inside the blue line, high over the net. Power play now for the team from Aquinas. Here's a chance in front, and the shot was blocked. I think Day got a piece of that on the way by. And the Raiders clear it out to center ice. Jumped over Corcoran's stick. Down to about four and a half left in the third period. 6-2 Messina on the Corky scoreboard. Here comes the puck stolen. And into the zone. It's Justin Walsh. He fired it wide. Oh, nice feed. Beautiful feed there from Nick Cormanius. Of course, Walsh threw the check that set up the play. And here's Charlie Durant with it, flipping it to Timmy O'Shea, and he just dumps it down the ice. Nick's had a lot of uh, accolades, justifiably so, but that great pass was by Timmy O'Shea. Oh, was Before, it? Well, yeah, just a great pass. Okay, I'm sorry. Walsh threw the, threw the check that made, uh, made the play, and uh, Timmy O'Shea, nice pass. Okay, here we go, Lou Ferrari. And he has knocked off the puck. DeRosie picks up the puck, lifts it high in the air to O'Shea, and he gloved it. Yeah, he sure did. Typical of the little Irish uh, power play. Uh, it's they although they have a power play goal, it has been uh, not productive and anemic to say the least. And they had an odd man rush three on two, and instead of trying anything, they they took a 55 foot slap shot from just inside the blue line. Oh, great! Look who's coming in. The goalie. Zachalars. That's good. Alan Zachalars. Number and four on the depth chart. And just what we need, they're going to warm him up to slow the game down again. <laughs> right. Off the face off. Here's Cormanius in the zone, trying to center it across the goal mouth, but it's knocked away. DeRozzi has it. Puck in the zone. Here come the Irish. Oh, LaPointe just throws a brutal check. And the puck comes to Cormanius. He just dumps it back, ragging the puck as Messina's killing the penalty. Here comes LaPointe with it. In the zone, the shot right on. Save made by Zachalars. Okay. This is winding down. 258 again. Uh, spurts and stops and uh, really uh, an uphill Struggle here for the Little Irish in the third period. 6-2 for the Raiders. Uh, minute 27 left on that major penalty to, to Eric Meacham. But again, the Little Irish not able to mount any type of uh, offensive thrust on this power play. Off the faceoff. Down the ice it goes. Puck goes in the zone. In behind the net, Little Irish control. Dropping it back to the blue line. In behind, it's Barkley. Rips it around the boards. And here comes Justin Walsh. Well, let's see here. And he fired it wide. Fuck in behind. In around the corner it goes. Dump back inside the, the uh, zone to Corcoran. Around the boards, they just try to get it out. 25 seconds left in the penalty and a little bit more than that in the game. In behind the net, it comes in front and uh, it still comes free to Timmy O'Shea and back the other way. Here comes O'Shea across the blue line. Oh, nice pass to Walsh, and he just couldn't quite hold on to it. That'll about going to take care of the power play right there. About a minute and a half left to go. And here comes Gerard. Oh, try to stick handle across the blue line. Back the other way. Here comes Gurnett. He has it taken away by Meacham, who's out of the box. Meacham cruising, looking for Day. Into the zone it goes. Goalie way out of his net. I don't know if I'd want to do that if I were the goalie. Messina controls it. Here comes LaPointe. LaPointe centering right across the goal mouth. Comes back to the blue line. Gerard can't keep it in. 
And it's six to two, Messina. The Raiders are going to win the championship and go to five and two on the year. And finally, the puck, uh, the uh, puck is tied up in behind, and we'll have a face-off. And uh, Sandy Cook is making the announcement, uh, telling the uh, fans that there will be some uh, post-game uh, awards given on all tournament team, and of course the uh, championship uh, plaque or trophy and the runner-up trophy to Aquinas and the Raiders, winning uh, for the uh, second or third year in a row, winning this. Uh, early season tournament. Uh, I'm not sure what the title of this one is. goes by the Messina tournament or uh, I guess we could call it that but the next Raider uh, game they're on the road at uh, on the 27th uh, that's uh, Wednesday night uh, down in Malone playing the Huskies. Puck in behind the net. Messina, oh ho, Diagostino had a great opportunity and got knocked down at the last second. Okay here comes Aquinas in on the right side may dump it in behind the net Moving it around the horn, the puck pokes free. Gerard throws a check, comes bouncing in behind. There could be another penalty, and Messina will pick up another penalty. And with 16 seconds left, uh, Aquinas will go back on the power play. Messina and, killed off that major without too many problems. Yeah, and I think uh, big number 18, the big Bubba, is going to get to the box. He uh, kind of mugged, uh, I think, uh, number 12, uh, Kachia. Seen some, I think, his first ice, ice time. Looks like a little freshman out there for the uh, little Irish, and uh, Matt kind of worked him over behind the net, and and the Raiders are going to be down, man, for the final uh, 16 seconds. Off the face off, puck in behind the net. They move it around the horn. They got a guy in front. Uh, they can't. Yeah, they get it to him, and he can't get the shot off. Bouncing puck back in the circle. Five seconds left. It's tied up. Bounces right across the goal mouth. That'll take care of it right there. And so the Raiders win it on a score of 6-2, to two, and they win the championship.